to Brawlhalla. And welcome back, everyone, uh, to Brawlhalla and my Playing Every Legend uh, series, where we are today playing four, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm 99% sure that's who we're playing today. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's... That is exactly who we are. Yeah, that is exactly who we're playing. Sorry for the lack of preparation. But anyways, Core, as you can see, is a character with gauntlets, which is a new weapon for us, and hammer. He is a relatively balanced character, focusing on defense and strength uh, over dexterity and speed, but none of his stats is ridiculously higher, uh, with def defense being his main stat and speed being his lowest stat. Uh, kind of looks like this uh, the stone golem over here, which patches of moss on top, so pretty interesting character design, but... Uh, I'm going to go into his uh, his abilities uh, now, and then show you a few games. Uh, one of which includes uh, fighting my clanmate uh, Glitchless, who I will also be putting in the description. Anyways, let's get on to his abilities now. And now this is uh, Core in game. He is just like I said in the uh, uh, champion thing, where you can see him better. He is this kind of stone golem with a a large yellow eye and moss on top, with uh, one of his horns being noticeably cracked. It is uh, one of the better character designs in my opinion, and uh, it has a lot of potential for skins and stuff, so I like it. Anyways, let's get into his first weapon, being his new, uh, the new one, Gauntlets. Uh, now, Gauntlets, uh, the basic things is uh, like a close quarters uh, combat grappling kind of weapon, but let's get on to his abilities, uh, with his neutral sig being this, he holds one of his hands up in the air, and when you actually hit someone with it, uh, let's see if we can make that happen, there, that's how it works, yeah, he kind of uh, grabs them and uh, knocks them away, very effective when you are... Uh, on the edge, since uh, grabbing someone and throwing them down into the edge is really useful. Uh, I think you might have gotten a bit of a preview of the, the side sig, but pretty predictable as with most weapons. The side sig is a kind of sideways attack, and on cores it is he dashes forward and grabs uh, the uh, the enemy and throws them in the same direction. Uh, so it deals damage when it first connects and when he throws them away. Very very useful tool since you can very easily combo with it and uh, as you can see relatively easy to kill with. Now let's get on to his uh, last sig on gauntlets which is this. Uh, core hits the ground and in both directions uh, rocks pop up, which can damage the enemy. It is his arguably most powerful sig uh, on the gauntlets, since, as you can see, you can very easily spam it. You can do it off edge too, very easily. And, well, it's just overall very powerful. Uh, that is something I forgot to mention about uh, his neutral sig. You can do this with it too. Uh, if uh, you you get the, the timing done done right. It should be somewhere right there. That's how it works. So that yeah, that is one of uh, his most uh, useful tools. And this is the second weapon, the hammer, and this is a neutral sig on it. He stomps up a rock, which uh, kind of drags the enemy up if they're standing in it. But you can also use it to just snipe the enemy in the air, uh, if they're coming. Makes it very useful. You can use this one off edge too, kind of like that. And yeah, that's his uh, neutral signal hammer. 
extremely useful if a little slow. And this is a side sig. He just grabs and slams it down, like with most hammer side sigs. Just a standard ground hit, which deals a lot of damage and is relatively fast. Also pretty spammable. Now we're coming to the, the sig which Core is mostly known for. It is his down sig on the hammer, and it is this. Core turns into a ball and goes kind of like just rolling forward. It is something you can start both on and off edge, and you can transition it from uh, on edge to off edge, which makes it one of the more deadly tools uh, in in the entire game, since it is so... how do we put it? Uh, hard to dodge. Uh, especially if you're off edge like this, he can really snipe you. Anyways, that was Kor's uh, abilities. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you a few matches now, and like I said, one of them includes uh, my clanmate. Anyways, let's get on to the battles.
And now that you've seen uh, a few matches uh, of Core, I'm going to put him in the tier list. Now, Core to me is a character that is both pretty fun and pretty good. He's not S tier in my opinion, but he places high in A tier. And that is because not only is he a relatively easy character to pick up, he also has uh, good stats and reliable SIGs, so you can play him easily uh, without much difficulty and get pretty far. The only real problem I see with him is that while fun, yes, he can get repetitive after a while, and there is a chance that you might pick up some bad habits uh, from only playing him. Um, such as uh, over-reliance uh, on your SIGs, since they are very, very good. That is why he is not an S tier, but he is, in my opinion, high A tier. Anyways, that has been everything from me, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, as well as check out my other content, which includes the, the previous Brawlhalla videos and my For Honor series, which is going to get a new video in a few days. Anyways, have a good one and goodbye.